right, so hello everybody. This is Jody Ann Johnson with Action Coach Business Coaching. And today I have a really uh, important message and an interview with Diego Mendez of Mendez Law. He's a bankruptcy attorney and although you know, we're not talking about bankruptcy today, there's still some struggling businesses out there that need to be aware of what's going on with this loan and how to use it properly and what are the what are the requirements. So Diego, can you tell us a little bit about what happened with you this week and why this is such an important topic today? Um, I received a call on Wednesday from the SBA because I had taken out a loan for my business, um, an EIDL loan. And the SBA called me asking about my insurance requirements and submit my insurance policy. And, you know, I have obviously general liability and the workers' compensation, all the different things that you need to operate in Florida. Um, however, what they were asking for wasn't that. They wanted a uh, business, uh, a business personal property insurance policy, 80% of either the collateral um, or of the, of the loan, which we're not really sure of. So um, I started looking into it. I started calling around. And the funny thing is my father also had a small EIDL loan and he received an email from the SBA at the same time um, asking for the exact same thing. This was from the SBA in Washington, DC. So obviously they're going around calling businesses and maybe a lot of your clients have received um, calls and emails from the SBA asking for this. So I spent some time uh, reviewing and, and trying to find out um, what exactly they required because a general liability policy does not suffice. It's not enough. So your normal travelers or whatever you have uh, a policy isn't good enough for the SBA. It's, it, it needs to basically ensure the personal property or the real property of your business. And what that means, very few people even understand what that means, but personal property is literally the desks, the computers, the things in your office. Um, the, when you took out the EIDL loan, you basically gave the SBA a UCC lien on all of your stuff inside your office and also all of your receivables ever, I mean, into the, into the future. So <laughs> wait a second. I don't think that people really realize that a lot of, a lot of people, you know, I know I read through the, through the uh, agreement before I accepted it, but I, I was thinking like, we don't have collateral in our business for professional services business. And yes, if they want the desk and the computer, okay, fine. But you're saying receivables through the life of the loan? Yeah, they, they, they're, they're, that, that's a, a UCC loan. A UCC lien basically is a, a lien on receivables, on things that the business owns or will owe or own. Here's the thing. Um, the, the, then the question is, well, what happens, obviously, if you default, if you don't maintain this, this insurance? Um, and that's the big question because what the papers say is that um, they will, they basically will never, will, they may never give you another um, SBA loan um, in the future, which is a big deal, especially in the age of pandemics. If this ever happens again, and I have had clients and friends of mine who defaulted on SBA loans in the past, and they did not get either PPP or EIDL uh, loans. So they, they does apply. They will enforce it. So it's stupid to, to put, us the small business owners in a position to automatically default on a loan because of an arduous insurance requirement. That's my opinion. <laughs> yeah. So what we really wanted to do in this, in this conversation and in this video is, is to you know, open people's eyes to it may not just be as simple as it appeared at first. The, um, there are requirements, record keeping requirements. There are, things that you can use the loan for and things you cannot use the loan for, like you cannot use the loan to go and get a new boat, which is something that you were telling me about the other day, Diego, um, that someone that you heard of did that. Um, but, the, but the most important thing I think for us is you know, there's a little bit of that um, not being really conscious of what the requirements of the EIDL and, and we as business coaches definitely encourage people to get them. If you don't need it, you know, pay it back. You may have a little interest, but you'll have this cushion if you need to have this cushion. And at the beginning of the pandemic, we didn't know. We, we just didn't know. We didn't know what we were dealing with, right? 
However, now what we want you to do, you know, both my company and Diego's uh, firm is to go back and take a look so that you are clear. And it's not like the PPP, which can be forgiven, it's a loan. And when I did the calculation on 150,000, it turns out that if you take 30 years to pay it back, which is the term of the loan, it's 185,000 in interest, which is helpful in cash flow, but terrible for wealth building. You know, so we we'll, we'll want you to, to go find out, get a good plan for how you're gonna pay this loan back. Find out exactly what's gonna be required of you because in professional services, it's gonna be very different from manufacturing. And, and then we started a very interesting conversation, you and I, Diego, about, hey, why don't we take some political action here and reach out to our senator here in Florida, Marco Rubio, who's the, the head of the Small Business Committee in the Senate. So let's talk a little bit about that conversation, and then I want to give you uh, Rubio's contact information so that we can begin to petition, hey, maybe these 150000 and less EIDL loans ought to just be forgiven. Yeah. Well, regardless of your political persuasion, um, we're very lucky that we have Marco Rubio as our senator in the sense that he is the head of the, the small business um, part of the Senate, the, 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 the part of the Senate that's dealing with the small business and these loans. So, and, so that's great for us because we have a direct, a direct shot at the, at the leader of, of, right. of, of hopefully can make these decisions. Anyway, because so he might respond. <laughs> we, um, we definitely, I mean, it's a wish list, right, to have uh, this forgiven, but at the very least, to have these uh, cumbersome and, um, and really uh, challenging requirements for small businesses at this time. So I want to go ahead and give you Marco Rubio's contact information if you're here in Florida or here in Miami-Dade where we are. The number is 305-596-4224. In Washington, D.C., the number is 202-224-3041. Senator Rubio does have a form that you can fill out at Rubio, R-U-B-I-O dot Senate dot gov. And then you can fill out the, that form. So as we wrap up, Diego, are there any closing words that you have for our... Well, what I would say that until this is resolved, it's, it's I think it is in your best interest to if you have to, you can buy the, the insurance um, because you have to get it within 12 months of taking the loan out. So most people got it in May or June. So you have a few more months. If this is not resolved before then, you, you probably should get the insurance because if not, you're immediately defaulted. And if you default on these loans, the, the, the consequences are pretty bad. So if there's no resolution before then on, on these issues, then you, you have to follow these documents. Because if not, you're risking a bad situation in the future, you know, and, and a lot of people, you know, we might not be able to get loans or, or any assistance, government assistance, if you default on these loans. And then that's the bad position to be in. Yeah, so, definitely. So yeah. We might just go ahead, uh, Diego, and do a little bit of a series on, you know, what exactly did we all say yes to? Yeah. And, um, and then we'll keep you posted. And sure. for... Uh, for today, just go back and review your, your um, agreement and kind of highlight where you've got questions. And then um, be free to reach out to Diego. Uh, Diego is at diego.mendez at Mendez Law Offices with an S at the end dot com. Or you can reach out to me, Debbie Johnson at actioncoach.com. And we'll be happy to, uh, to talk with you about what we know and what we're working on. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye for now. Thank you so much, Diego. All right.